Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. Guys, before I begin, I am not giving you any medical advice. I'm not making any medical claims and everything I'm going to say in this video is just my opinion. And with that being said, the question is, I've actually had people contact me, ask me, does hydrogen cause cancer or can it cause cancer? Now, are we talking about molecular hydrogen or are we talking about things like oxyhydrogen or something that people call Brown's gas? which is a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen, but it's not just that. There's other gases in there too, so it's really not quite that simple. Now, the answer to the question, well, I'll just show you some research because the reason this all came up is due from numerous emails throughout the years of, unfortunately, people have contacted me and said that they've been harmed by using something like Brown's gas that used lye or sodium hydroxide. Um, I could tell you numerous stories from people saying that their throats feel like they burn, their lungs feel like they burn, sometimes they just feel sick. I've used it myself. I had some of those symptoms on top of it. Some people told me when they would drink the water. Actually, I remember one person had kidney failure who didn't even have kidney issues. Um, numerous stories, people with cancer, they, they found that it actually accelerated their cancer. And I thought, well, that's really weird. It didn't almost make any sense. But after so many emails, I thought I would look this up and check it out. So this is imaging right here before exposure to something like lye or sodium hydroxide this is afterwards i will say the purity probably is something that one would need to look into i personally wouldn't be fond of stuff made from china of course unfortunately but that's just my own opinion and so let's see here uh let's go and actually now that i think about it there was an interesting story of a guy who used brown's gas for a long time many many years and eventually got cancer um, so I think a lot of this seems to be more long-term exposure rather than short-term, but let me show you some of the data. Um, this right here comes from the National Library of Medicine, uh, lie ingestion and carcinoma of the esophagus. Um, this is a really new research study, almost 2023. It was December of 22. Study connects the use of lye-based hair products, so, you know, soap, shampoos, and other things to increase uh, risk to breast cancer. That's something that I've also actually found too, so that's interesting. And this is even crazy. China bans lye or boric acid as food additives. So they don't even want it in their food, even China, guys. So I thought that was pretty wild. And look, I've known people to get things like, the, they get these kind of cheap welding devices. You can get them for like 50 bucks. And I've seen them try to use hydrogen from these things. I personally would never do that. But I've known a lot of people who do that, even people who think that they're actual, you know, hydrogen specialists. And now I did get a chance to actually get information from a hydrogen specialist from Japan. He's actually a doctor and he's a neurosurgeon, really, really highly credited. And I learned some interesting things. He's also really, really into the purity of hydrogen. In his opinion, he thinks that the high purity is of extreme importance because there could potentially be risks of making hydrogen not pure. Uh, why? Well, because apparently hydrogen goes right past the blood brain barrier and it gets so deep into the body that it's really not a good idea potentially to be using things that are not very pure from you know cheap plated metals to different chemicals this is the reason that i don't actually use any brown's gas devices anymore i have in the past um, i don't use the hydrogen pills either i don't there's a lot of things that i don't use now from everything that i've learned in my deep research i only use the lourdes hydrofix premium which ironically that doctor uh, that's the only machine that he uses. He only uses the Lourdes Hydrofix due to the high purity. It's a Japanese device. It's not made in China or anything. And it's the only machine he says that he recommends to his patients. And so I just think that that's something that's really important. And he is an actual practicing physician and definitely knows a lot about hydrogen. And obviously the Japanese are so well informed in regards to hydrogen. So I'm just bringing you guys the information. I hope that you guys found this information helpful. You know, don't forget to comment below, uh, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe. It's very helpful and it lets me know if you guys are finding this information helpful. And if you want more information about this, I could potentially look deeper into it and try to get you more information. But I will stick to the science and the science is molecular pure hydrogen appears to be not only what really appears to be good for the health, but and what's been recommended by actual top physicians that specialize in hydrogen, but it's also what I personally found that helped me the most rather than make me sick. I think purity in a lot of things is important, not just hydrogen, but I think pure water, so really clean water is important. I think really clean, pure foods are really important, and uh, and so appears to be the same thing for hydrogen. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you found it helpful. I'll see you guys next time on the next one.